I have a challenge today. Can I take some product merch photographs with just three pieces of foam core, a window, and the Sony ZV-1? Monique Renee here, photographer at Silverpaw Studio, and on this channel, I empower you to tell all of your tales with tales through photography and videography. Today, I wanna to go through a very simple setup I have here for product or merch photography. If you saw the other video I did with merch photography and I had my entire studio set up, we really did a lot of detail in those images, stylizing and equipment and everything else, I wanted to see if I could super simplify that and just use my Sony ZV-1. I only have a couple of products from Animal Friends Alliance Animal Rescue to photograph today. And I'm hoping that just these three pieces of foam core will work. They need them photographed on a white surface for their storefront. So I just thought, well, let's try this. I have this really big window here. I have lots of this big, cheap foam core, my old five-in-one reflector. The Sony ZV-1 has a mode called defocus, which is essentially changing the aperture to as shallow as it can be. And I thought maybe I could try that. I don't know if I have quite enough room here, but I've set up in this small space and paws crossed that we can make this work today. All right, so I wanna make sure that I've got the camera on stills mode. There's shutter priority, aperture priority, and program. And you can also do intelligent auto. If you don't understand all of the settings, you can just put it on intelligent auto. It actually works pretty good that way, but I wanna put it on manual because I want to be able to change all of my settings. All right, so let's take a look at what we have in here. We have a mock-up of next year's calendar. And it's not, it's not bound on the top. They want to have something that maybe fans out the pages, just shows these off so they can get to selling them right away. Um, this is actually a picture I took. And then we have a couple more shirts. If you saw in this video, we did quite a few shirts and tote bags, but there was a couple of shirts we still needed. I'm gonna have to move a little bit faster because the sun's starting to come in and creep along and I don't want it to be on my surface here. Now let's see if I have enough light from this window. I'm going to set, set the ISO. You push the wheel to the side and you can scroll up and down for ISO. Let's just do 400. And then we're gonna push down. That's our f-stop. Push down again. That's our shutter speed. These are still images, so I wanna make sure that the shutter speed I can hand hold. So 180th is fine. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's plenty right enough. If we take a look at that. All right, now that looks pretty darn good, if you ask me. Let's take the stuff off of it. So we're just gonna square this one up and just do a nice top down. Get those, we have the grid lines on. I'm trying to be nice and square. Okay. All right, so we just have, we have our standard shot, but let's see how we can get creative with this calendar by fanning out the pages. That's what the marketing department has suggested. I'm gonna stand up just to be sure I have this nice and square. Straight down. Okay. Very good. So those look great. We are at ISO 250, F3.5 and 1 160th of a second. We have the grid lines on so we can sh uh, line this up well. And this is just with the window light and everything bouncing off all the white surfaces. I think it's working pretty good so far. What else can we do with these calendar pages? Line that up with the grid lines. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of a cool look actually, having them straight down like that. 
Let's do, let's fan them out one more time without the cover. Let's do all of the dates. Just so you know, I did a series here on YouTube about a year ago on fundraising with photographers. And one of the modules was calendar creation. And I have an entirely free course, and I'll put the link to that in, in the description. I have a free course on 10 ways you can fundraise with photographers, and calendars is one of them. And uh, they have lots of great ideas. I think that looks pretty good. Okay. All right, let's see if we can get a little different angle here too. Let's put it on that defocus mode. Okay, now it's on defocus. Yeah, this is nice. Okay, very good. We're just getting close-ups now. Now, something you want to think about when you're making these product images is how they're going to look in advertising. Is there room for them to put maybe the price of the product, a link to it? Is it a cool detail that you want to entice people in? Is it eye-catching? This isn't just a photo for a photo. This is a photo to entice people to buy this awesome object. Well, let's just do a top-down close-up. Let's do this direction too. Let's do that. Okay, those are really cool. Now I'm gonna put the calendar away and we're gonna set up for the shirts. All right, we're done with the calendar. Let's get one of these shirts out. I may have to rearrange because the shirt's longer than this board, so. Let's just do a simple, simple flat lay. I think that's what they really ultimately need. They've got cat hair on these, ah! <laughs> okay, those look really good. I'm just gonna, you know what? I'm gonna grab a couple cat toys for fun. So far, so good using the Sony ZV-1 for these product photos. I'm really happy with this. Uh, I've got a couple of animal toys, dog and cat toys. I thought, let's spruce it up a little bit. We have a minute, don't we? Let's do cat toy with a little, okay. Done with that. Let's see the purple shirt. Ooh, this is pretty. Now let's take this by itself. Awesome. We're gonna put this the flower now. It just covers up that label. Cute. So cute. Let's do uh, the tennis ball and the dog toy. Okay. This is really fast, everyone. This is going quick. That one's done. So what I had to do was put another whiteboard on the ground because the sleeves were just off the surface and all I have to do is edit that one piece of board right here and right there. Let's take a look at that. I'm gonna block some of the sun from over here. I'll just hold up this print. <laughs> and that blocks the hot spot from right here. All right, all hot spots are gone. Okay, nice. And I had one more idea. Since this is I Heart Cats and Coffee, let's put cat ears here, because why not? And I think the white flower and the cat ears, just for funsies, okay? <laughs> I just think it's silly. Okay, 
I think that challenge was met by the Sony ZV-1. We were definitely able to take really nice product photos with foam core and a window. That's all you need for super simple product photos. We've got t-shirts and a calendar, and we even did some styling. So using this Sony ZV-1 for product photography, I think worked out good. We even used the defocus function to show some of the detail. All right, well, I think that solves that mystery. Can you use the Sony ZV-1 for product photos? You sure can. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you did, be sure to boop the like button and pause subscribe button. If you have any questions about this video, of course, type, type them in the comments below. And as always, I wish you many woofs, purrs, and T-R-E-A-T-S's.